All right, guys, this is the Dewalt 73542R49629151-01 motor. Um, from here on out, I'm just going to call it the Dewalt 820 because that's what it's commonly referred to as. Came This one actually came right out of a drill, a 14.4 uh, volt XRP. I was going to do a video on that, but it turned out being so easy that I didn't think it'd be worthwhile. You just there's four screws in the back, you pull off, four screws, you pull off, the front transmission shock part comes off, then you unscrew it with these two screws and then it comes out. So, well, you have to unclip the two wires, but it was so easy that you'll be able to figure it out. So, anyways, this one came out of a drill, so we will have to chop the pinion off here, which I'll do later, but I just want to talk about it as an upgrade in the Summit. Summits come with a Titan 775, so the 820 is already, I think 820 refers to diameter or something, but I'll do a comparison to the stock motor later, I don't have it with me right now, but it's larger, better, can handle more power, I think, it's, as far as speed, it's pretty similar, but as far as torque, it's got a lot more, so you can either A, have more torque, or B, you can gear it higher and use that torque kind of translated into speed. So you can, it's not inherently faster, but you can make it faster because of the higher torque it has. Uh, but I'm kind of going to use it as more just a torque motor, I think. It's going going to go on my 6x6, so it needs all the help I can get. So, yeah, I don't know. There's not really much to say. Other than that, I'll try chopping the pinion off here. Um, I'm going to take off the back plate here. It's Some people say it has a bearing, but it only has a bronze bushing. And my other one, that one went bad and it was squealing. So I'll do a little video later showing you how to fix that. So, but yeah, that's the Dewalt 820 motor. Okay, so this video is going to be a little bit about out of order because we already cut the pinion off. I'm just going to do a quick comparison to the stock Titan 775. If you look from the very top, it is well, it's a bit longer, and of course it's got a larger diameter as well. This metal part is just I don't know, extra metal for heat sinking or something, but I guess maybe you can see better on the bottoms. It is quite a bit wider, which leads to its higher torque. Uh, I took it out of the drill, so there was just little tabbies that clipped on here. This has wires soldered already, so I'll have to figure something out about that. But, uh, yeah, they both have fans in the back. Looks like the Titan fan is a little bit bigger. So... Who knows? I've since since the Dewalt has a lot. Eh, I'd say more mass, but this thing's actually pretty chunky. But it can build up a lot of heat before it gets too hot. So generally, they're fine. It's got a nice little plus symbol in the back here, so you know which which terminals which. So that will come useful later. But yeah, I just want to make a quick little portion of this video to show you. How much bigger it is. Okay, on the stock motor mount, the holes, as you can see, are just a little bit too close together. So I'll probably get a drill bit or my Dremel or something and widen out the holes, and then I'll be able to mount it. But first, I think I'm going to paint the can. So, so to remove the brushes, you just prop a little knife or something in there, and then they come right out. Okay, so here you can see the brush assembly. It's got the little spring, and this one's still got lots of life left. And then the wire from the brush goes out to this little tab. So that's what we'll have to solder wires onto. So, 
And once you have the brushes off, you should be able to just pry the back cover off. Um, I'll probably take it off for painting because I think the back is aluminum and everything else is steel, so I won't paint the back. And also, this, some people say is a bearing, but it's actually just a bronze bushing, so I'll be putting a bearing in later. Okay, so I took the back cover off and turns out I'm wrong. There is a bearing back here. My other DeWalt motor had a bronze bushing or brass bushing. But this one actually has a bearing, so maybe it's a different model number. I'm not sure, but interesting. All right, so I put the cover back on. I painted the cam blue to match my 6x6. I figured why not. I enlarged the holes in the motor mounting plate. I screwed it on. It's kind of tight, but it should keep it there. And I screwed on the pinion, so we're pretty much ready to roll, except for we have to solder some wires onto the brushes. But I'm going to try to solder the speed controller wires directly on, so might do that in a different video.